When we had last left the Spacefarer, they finally had a little heart-to-heart -heart with Andresia, but also with Sarah Morgan, and was able to resolve a lot of things and begin a whole lot more with Sarah, who unveiled her plan to return to the crash site from long ago that she had mentioned, the one involving the... Um, Oh God, what was the name of the ship? The name of the ship with her old friends who all died horribly. It was time to go back to Cassiopeia 1 and investigate it. This is Starfield. Welcome back. Zoop, zoop, zoop. There we go. And of course, in between videos, I went and sold off a few things to the trade authority. I actually couldn't sell off everything because we just had too much. It could not be done. Okay, let's head on over here. Good. And I guess we'll just be on our way, right? That way we can uh, get it to where Sarah's little mission gets wrapped up. I have things for you. Oh. Okay, what have you got If for? you don't mind, I'd like to speak to Admiral Logan sooner rather than later. Oh, right, yeah, shit, I forgot that we have to do this here. Okay. Do you have anything interesting for me? Yep, here you go. Spice. Oh, okay. Admiral Logan's office shouldn't be terribly far. Let's go. Okay, yeah, let's go. That's why I went through this elevator. I knew that this was the one that we needed to go through. That's, that's definitely it, Sarah. Okay. Let's head up here. Oh. Good. I wonder how many floors in the UC installation we haven't been to yet. Let's take a quick peek, because doesn't it say all of them? Huh. I think we've been to all of them. Well, have we been to Aegis? No, we have been to Aegis, haven't we? Yeah, this is all of them now. We've been to all of them, I think. Yeah, wow, okay, holy shit. I mean, I guess we did do their entire arc. Okay. Oh. Fun little robot lord here. Office of the United Colonies President. This is the president's office? You can just walk in? Alexandra Abelo, president. Oh my god! You just exist here. This is the first step in our long march against the Terramorphs. But we'd be going nowhere if it weren't for you. The whole of the settled systems are in your debt, whether they know it or not. Oh, wow, okay. I wonder what you would say if I was not, okay. Cool book, okay. Can I steal it? Great, I'm traveling with a criminal. <laughs> okay, our lost heritage. Good God, we definitely got to read that. I think that's a new one, right? Let's see. Let me add that to our list. Let's see here. Flip around my notebook a bit. Our lost... Heritage. It also gave us a landmark thing to visit on a little location, a point of interest on, on uh, Earth, I think. Okay. Good. Weird. You'd think there would be more security. Okay. Hey, everyone. Yes? The Dan needs another supply shipment? Really? Okay. Never a dull moment around here. That operation's got to be coordinated with the Vanguard. I am the Vanguard. Yes? Okay, Excuse everybody's me. just chilling. Whoa, look at this weird art. Huh. It's very, like, graffiti-inspired, huh? It's not what I would have expected in here. Okay. Sure. 
people drinking fuckloads of coffee. Right next to the toilets, of course. People gonna be pissing and shitting nonstop from all the terror brew. Oh, Ikande. Commander System Defense. Is this Ikande's office then? Jillian Toft, Lieutenant System Defense. Wasn't Ikande the dude who is with like this CIA? Wasn't that his name? I think so. Huh. Yeah, I mean, I guess, yeah, I, I just never thought we could go and see their offices. It makes sense that they have them, though. Oh. Unless you have official business with the government, this is not the place for you to loiter. Am I clear? Okay, what's, what's up with you? Policy fails every time. And when it does, the Marines mop up the mess. Good God, man. <laughs> okay. Pascal Logan, Fleet Admiral, UC Navy. Okay. Let's do a save here so we can get a pic of you. Sarah Morgan. It's been what? Almost 10 years? Admiral, it's uh, good to see you again, sir. You're not required to address me as sir. That protocol ended the moment you dropped your clusters on my desk, remember? Look, Admiral, I'm not here to open old wounds. Old wounds is an interesting turn of phrase, given our past. Listen to me, Commander. I'm not sure why you're here, but whatever it is, why don't you just get to it? I'm here because I need your help, Admiral. You need my help. That's interesting. The last time we spoke, you made it quite clear that you were turning your back on the Navy. That was a decade ago. Things change. People change. Admiral, please. I didn't come here to argue. I'm here to come to terms with my past. Your past is sitting in a closed file in the archives. That's where you left it when you walked out on the United Colonies. And what about you? Just who in the blazes are you anyway? I'm the Terramorph killing guy. <laughs> I'm here to support Sarah as a friend. I work with Sarah at Constellation. Just a concerned civilian. Does it matter who I am? This isn't about me. Does it matter who I am? I haven't spoken to Sarah Morgan for almost 10 years, and out of the blue, both of you barge into my office. I want answers. You can start with telling me who the hell you are. Well, I also left the UC Navy behind. <laughs> he loves bringing that up. All right. I'm here to support Sarah as a friend. Very well. Then, as a good friend, perhaps you could kindly explain to me why I shouldn't have the both of you escorted from the building. With all due respect, Admiral, this is ridiculous. If you have a problem with me, then there's no need to berate my colleague. I don't have a problem with you, Commander. I'm simply trying to determine why you deserve the Navy's help. Sarah's here to honor the fallen that served under her command. Sarah's here to resolve the incident that ended her naval career. Sarah's here to solve a mystery that's been plaguing her conscience. Huh. I feel like he'll respond best to the middle one here. Right? Because if we say honor the fallen, he'll be like, yeah, f you're full of shit. Why'd you leave in the first place or whatever? And if we say mystery, he'll be like, I don't give a shit about that. <laughs> Sarah's here to resolve the incident that ended her naval career. Hmm. Interesting. Would you care to elaborate, Commander? It's about Cassiopeia, Admiral. I'm heading back there to find out what happened to the crew of the Dauntless, and hopefully to bring their legacy home. That sounds like a dangerous operation. Are you certain it's worth the risk? I... I don't know. The emotional pain Sarah's been suffering has to end. We refuse to allow the crew of the Dauntless to remain a statistic. Let us worry about the danger, Admiral. Yeah, let us worry about it. This isn't like... Official Navy business. This is just us doing it. Like, pro bono. I wish it was that simple. If the Navy gives its blessing for you to undertake this operation, then we assume responsibility. And frankly... 
I'd never forgive myself if you didn't return. All right, we're going to have to steal it. I appreciate it. the concern, Admiral. <laughs> but that crew was my responsibility. No matter how difficult the risk, those men and women are coming home. I understand. And I believe I owe you an apology, Commander. Our last encounter has obviously distorted my impression of your character. What can I do to help? If you wouldn't mind allowing me to access the files regarding my rescue, I'd be most grateful, Admiral. That shouldn't be too difficult. I've sent all the relevant information to you, Slades. Was there anything else? No, Admiral. Thank you. You don't need to thank me, Commander. I just hope you find whatever it is you're looking for. Huh. Okay. What else do you have to say? Enjoy the penthouse. One of the finest views in New Atlantis. Oh, now you know who I am. What do you think of Sarah Morgan? During the Colony War, I would have described her as a natural-born leader. Efficient, unwavering, motivational, ideal officer material. But after the incident on Cassiopeia, Commander Morgan changed. She became unsure of herself, so she was assigned to the Navigator Corps. But it wasn't really a punishment. After all, it was obvious she was yearning for an exploratory position, and we mutually agreed the move would be beneficial. I truly right. felt sorry for her when the Cabinet pulled the plug on her division. And I wasn't surprised when she resigned from the service the very next day. Despite all that, if you ask me how I feel about Commander Morgan today, all I can say is that Constellation is fortunate to have her as their leader. Do you mind if I ask you some questions about the Dauntless? I'll answer whatever I can. But please understand, that was a military vessel and some of the information is classified. Okay. I'm guessing it's because I'm in the Vanguard that I can't get access to, like, legitimate Navy information. Even though I'm also not only in the Vanguard, but a first citizen who knows the president, right? <laughs> Where were you during the talks, right? Where were you, Admiral, during the Terramorph talks, huh? Well, what the fuck? What was the fate of the Dauntless? Unfortunately, I can't divulge the reason the Dauntless was in the Cassiopeia system, but it clearly became engaged with Free Star Collective warships. According to its flight recorder, it was heavily damaged by weapons fire and succumbed to full structural failure. Considering this was one of our larger warships at the time, it's not surprising that it took so long for it to break apart. Oh, you can't tell me why it was there? Ooh, it's going to be something fucked up, isn't it? All right. How many people escaped from the Dauntless? If memory serves, a total of 11 personnel escaped the destruction of the vessel, including Commander Morgan. Oh, wow. That class of ship was equipped with six escape shuttles. But the flight recorder only indicates two left the Dauntless before it broke apart. Man, so there were, how many did you say? 11? So there were 10 people crammed into one escape pod? Or is it that a whole bunch of escape pods left, but like most of them blew up upon leaving too? Were you in charge of the UC Navy when the Dauntless was lost? I hope you aren't attempting to insinuate something, but no, I wasn't in charge of the UC fleet back then. That honor fell to our mutual friend, Fleet Admiral Francois Sanon. Or uh, Vave Victus, as you've recently discovered. How do, you, how do you know this? How do you know that I know this? <laughs> what kind of security clearance do you have? Good God. I I mean, I guess you are the Admiral of the Navy, right? So if anything, it's weird that you weren't present during the, the Terramorph talks with the Cabinet. But why did it take so long to rescue Sarah? Well, I'm afraid I don't have a good answer for that. We were at the height of the war, and the UC had retreated from that star system. We simply didn't have the capability to mount a search. It was purely due to blind chance that a passing freighter picked up Commander Morgan's emergency beacon and sent a search team. Okay. Well, that's all the questions I have about the Dauntless for now. Thanks, Admiral. Certainly. I want to do everything I can to assist both of you in this noble endeavor. Okay, great. Good talk. Man. He can't tell us why the Dauntless was out there, and this is while the Navy was under Vay Victus's charge. 
Something fucked up definitely happened. Hello. It was there for some fucked up reason. Gotta be. Okay. Let's head over here. Then, we'll fast travel back to the ship. Can we, though? Sometimes we can't. Let's see. Where even is it? Good God, man. I have no idea. Oh, there we go. Hey, there we are. Great. Okay. Get this ship moving. Okay, hang on, Sarah. I need to deposit some junk. I had to buy some in order to even sell everything off. There we are. Store all. Great. Okay. Good. Should we take a quick nap? Why not? Get our little XP bonus. Okay, now let's head on out. We should just be able to, like, fast travel there, huh? Let's see, where is it? Okay, level 20-ish place. Is that about the range, the level range for every companion quest mission? I feel like Andresia's was like 2530. All right, there we go. Oh. Okay. Look, there's some stuff over here. I can't believe I get Shipping to stand crane. near you, breathing the same air. Should we investigate these shipping crates? I've got to have every molecule. Okay. What have we got? Antimony. Guess I'll take it. Okay, is this the next nearest one? I hear Constellation has been collecting a ton of new things. Ancient things. Do you think people are starting to notice? Antimony again. What the fuck? Another shipping crate right there. Is it all just going to be fucking antimony? Is this is this part of the weird conspiracy? <laughs> they were <laughs> they're trying to haul some antimony around or whatever. Yeah, look. Cargo hold is full of antimony now. Oh, shit. Iron is something that I do actually need. Oh. Okay. Let's pop this open. We'll do a scan. Another planet, or celestial bodies, no moons in orbit of this planet. Okay. There we go. That site is clear. Let's hit down. Ooh. I like the look of this planet. Is this entirely like an arid desert planet? Hold up. Oh, coniferous forest. Okay. Deciduous forest. Plateau. Okay. Tropical forest. Wow. Okay, okay. Well, let's get out of here. Oh, wow. Holy shit. 
shit. Wow, this planet's awesome. Maybe I really do want to build a base here. <laughs> okay, Sarah, hopefully this goes well. Got some life signs over there. Probably some weird, like, alien creature. Some copper. Cobalt. Ah, this looks awesome! I love this type of biome. This type of planet. Look at the big cool arch, too. I'm surprised the wind isn't causing me any issues. It looks fucking horrifying. Sarah's crash site. <laughs> Sarah's. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why does it got fucking, like, fire shots at her, too? <laughs> Why can't it just be, like, derelict crash site or something like that? Why do it have to be Sarah's? Senta Skull Grazer. This must be some debris from my shuttle. Not exactly a textbook landing, but I didn't have much of a choice. Yeah, somehow you went right through this arch. It's pretty incredible. Okay. Oh, we need to chat. My bad. I can't believe I'm here. It feels like walking into a dream. Maybe you'd be better j off just staying on the ship. Just stick close to me and you'll be all right. You got this, Sarah. How long has it been? How long? Oh, it's been nearly 20 years, but it feels like a lifetime. Strangely, this place looks exactly the same as I remember it. But that isn't possible, right? Just like a dream. I don't- <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? Are, what are you saying? Are we in fucking Elder Scrolls land right now or what? Are we in a fucking dream? Are, do I gotta fucking wake up Henantir? <laughs> Why do you keep saying that? You've said it twice now, which is a little weird. You're starting to make me- Are we in a dream, Sarah? Is that why this dust is coming at me? And it's not causing me to cough or anything? Alright, Sarah, you got this. I don't know what the fuck is up with this planet. Maybe it's got, like, weird LSD atmosphere. Oh, thank you. Right now, I feel like I need all the help that I can get. Phew. Okay. So, let me get my bearings for a moment. Yes. Yes, this looks correct. Those rock formations nearby look familiar. My old campsite shouldn't be far. Geology check. Geological formations which haven't changed for millions of years are the perfect landmark. <laughs> okay, we just get a chance to be a little nerdlinger. I bet she would like it, though. I'm ready if you are. Promise you'll let me know if this becomes too much to handle. No matter what we discover, I'll be here to support you. Anything we should be worried about between here and there? Let's be a little nerdlinger. Geological formations which haven't changed for millions of years are the perfect landmark. Yes, exactly. Since most of my gear was destroyed, I depended on those landmarks to orient myself while I was stranded. <sighs> Once we get to the campsite, we'll use that as a starting point to search for the crew's shuttle wreckage. <sighs> Let's go. God, we gonna go here and find, like, Sarah's little Robinson Crusoe situation? Was she going, like, Tom Hanks over here? Okay. Oh my god, yeah, look. She was hanking off over here. Look at this! Man, I can't believe it's all still standing on a planet with, like, this kind of wind and atmosphere. Well, this is it. This is the spot where I spent close to a year waiting for rescue. Yeah, that's fucking Not wild. Not exactly Paradiso, is it? I can't even imagine what it must have been like. Even New Atlantis' best hotel has got nothing on this place. I'm proud of how well you're handling all of this, Sarah. How did you possibly walk away from this crash? Paradiso. How did you walk away from this? Oh, uh, I never said I walked away. 
<sighs> when my ship hard landed on the surface, it broke apart. There was no fire, but I was... Well, I was pretty badly injured. Had to crawl from the wreckage. Oh my god! When they finally rescued me, the UC medics said I had three broken ribs, shattered my ulna, and had internal organ damage. I was in the medical ward recovering for almost six weeks. What? What organs? What? <laughs> oh my god, what organs did you damage? You said it took them a year? You are out here with broken ribs and internal organ damage? Nondescript? For a year? Oh my god, how many organs you got? Are you a fucking Klingon? How did you make it? A year? And this is like a fucked up desert area too. <laughs> Good god. Okay, Sarah, are you like, are you invincible? <laughs> can, can we look at your stats again? Your perks? Paradiso. I'm surprised you've never heard of the place. It's a resort colony in the Parima system. You know, a place to get away and unwind. I have Maybe heard of that, actually, we should in the book. head out there after we're done. Goodness knows we'll both need a vacation. Okay. Man, I can't even imagine what it must have been like. It was difficult and painful. But it kept me alive. It was home. Look at this thing. It's been sitting here rusting. I think we need to grab an emergency power cell to get the ship's computer up and running. Man. Yeah, I had a similar situ- Okay, it sounds- I had a somewhat similar situation to Sarah. But I was only strand- I was stranded at sea in the middle of the night with a bunch of folks for like six to ten hours, right? From like sundown to sunrise. And that was pretty fucking wild. That that was like an event, a, a like lifetime traumatic event for me. <laughs> Being stranded in the middle of the sea for that long. That was pretty wild. I cannot imagine just being out here for a fucking year when you're already fucked up and you just watched everybody like presumably get fucked up too. There must be one around here you somewhere. Okay? I left my emergency power cell back home in my other spacesuit. Actually, I left it back home in my Andrasia. <laughs> Shouldn't we have a similar device back on our ship? Can the cell power the entire ship? Shouldn't we have a similar device back on our ship? Sure, we have plenty of power cells on the ship, but they're not UC military grade. They oh. won't work. I'm afraid we'll have to do some scrounging. Sounds like a, a weakness on behalf of the UC military, huh? That you can't, you know, in, in a pinch, throw together three civilian-grade ones and get it working. Can the cell power the entire ship? No, I'm afraid that it can't. It's only designed to power individual systems. Even if it could, my old shuttle is far too damaged to be fully restored. I wonder if there was a point in time in Starfield where... Like, your ship did have power cells that you would eventually have to trade out or whatever, right? Like, sure, you're refueling and all of that, but eventually the power cell, sort of like the car, the battery in a car, would eventually need replacing because, you know, like, yeah, you got the alternator running, yeah, you can recharge it, but, you know, eventually it's just gonna not work anymore, right? For whatever reason, because you're running too much voltage through it over time. Its capacity to hold um, a charge diminishes over t over the years, right? I wonder if at some point there was something similar in this game for the ship and power cells. You're awfully quiet. Well, I was just thinking about how I left my emergency power cell back home in my other spacesuit. The one that Andresia is wearing. <laughs> Cute. <laughs> when I was stranded, I set up a distress beacon powered by emergency power cells. The beacon was up there on the plateau. I guess it's time to start climbing. Oh my god. I fucking hate how much I like Sarah. <laughs> I, I am very ashamed of how much I enjoy Sarah Morgan. <laughs> Alright, she's, she's taking a lot of my boxes. I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright. Let's see, anything else going on here? 
Positron battery, anything else? Moonshine pot. Okay, Sarah. Jeez, I didn't know we had a party animal over here. Okay. You like that, Sarah? Party animal? <laughs> okay. Sure, I'm guessing this is, yeah, this will be what we have to... There we are. Oh. Got some ammo. Sterile nanotubes. There goes our power cell receptacle. Nova Galactic Manual. Permanently reduces fuel needed for a grab jump by an additional 1%. Are these actually stacking? Like, am I now at like two or three percent reduction? I'm assuming it works like Fallout, but maybe they're stacking nonstop, right? So like, if I manage to find all of them in the game, like, they're all going to cumulatively work together. Okay, which is wild because they do seem to spawn in on like the procedurally placed and generated buildings. So could you theoretically, if you just kept farming them out, could you just get it? Like if they are stacking, could you just get it to where your shit doesn't cost anything? No, they must not stack. Cause that would be outrageous if you, well, stranger things have happened in a Bethesda game. Let's take a look at the computer. Emergency power system. Current power state is red. Warning, memory preser preservation mode active. Warning, this computer is running on low yield battery power to preserve system memory. The system cannot be accessed until an alternative power source is connected. If you believe this warning has been reached in error, please inform a maintenance technician or the on-duty deck officer immediately. Telemetry data. Tracking data not available. Yep, not available. Personal logs. Uh oh. Oh, they're not available. What? You didn't see that, Sarah. Okay. Let's head on out of here. Let's head over to. Oh, look. oh, now we're getting poor quality air. Okay. That's more like it. All right, we're not in a dream after all. <laughs> okay. Got some nickel over here. So, Which we do what actually have we got? Animal, vegetable, or mineral? Looks like animal and mineral. Okay. Got some fluorine. Weird cave. I like the Sentus Skull. They have a terrifying name, but they're they're pretty friendly and cute. Okay. Dear God. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Our uh, hazardous environment pinging is. A little fucking stressful. If it's meant to keep me at ease, it, it does a horrible job at that. Ooh. Hunting Stonewalker Stalker? That's a creature. Setting up this beacon probably saved my life. Who knows how long I would have been stranded here. Sarah, I think that's a fucking creature. Sarah, are we about to get fucking ambushed by these creatures? What if I ambush them first? Uh! Oh my god, it has immense strength. Whoa, there's cr- ah! It's gonna eat me with its vagina! Oh! Oh, oh my gosh, this shotgun is dope though. Look how quick the EM builds up. Okay. Well, we are actually going to have to kill them. <laughs> I think. Yeah, we're <laughs> we're going to have to kill them. <laughs> okay, that's fine. 
Holy shit, it's got power. It looks awesome, though. Okay, almost out of ammo for that. Oh, fuck! Okay, it's a lot scarier than it actually feels. Oh, you get a sneak attack by doing that. Sure, power like that was meant for humankind. All right, not into the solstice there. Oh. Man, it's got to be said though, the shotgun is amazing. that. Anything else good here? Eh, it doesn't seem like it. Dauntless power cell. I'm assuming once we had taken that, there was a good chance that creatures would awaken and be like, no, give us back our power cell. We love it. <laughs> We wanted to open the, the spaceship ourselves. <laughs> I was going to store them all in our friend's inventory non-stop. Good God, let's get out of here. Okay. What is that over there? Is that... Oh, that's the frontier. <laughs> all right. Oh, this is cool. Got some more goodies to dig up, too copper and whatnot. Oh, what? I can run along this? Holy shit. This ain't how we got up here, right? God, maybe it was. Did we walk up that to get here? I don't think so, but maybe. Okay. Great. Well, let's get on in here. Oh, God! Okay. Here we go. Oh, fuck! One. Let's do this. God. Oh, shoot it in the pubes. Good God, man. Were they here the whole time? Oh. Do I have any other type of heal? I do. Let's pop a trauma pack. Take the cork degenerative and cosmetic. Okay. Very cool. We've been talking about creatures with camo on other planets and stuff, but this uh, is pretty next level. Okay. Let's head on in. All right, and you know what? I think this is actually an ideal time to call the video, right? We're trying to keep uh, these a little bit sh on the shorter side. Uh, I can already feel my jaw getting a little bit sore. <laughs> so when next we come back, we will continue on with our adventures here. We'll pop in the power cell, uncover some information, maybe have to track down someone that Sarah knew or whatever. Who can say? Until next time, please take care of each other.